the science to defeat extinction and bring an animal back to life? Would you? Around the world, one of nature's greatest wonders, coral reefs are turning white and dying. This Pilbara landscape looks a little like the surface of Mars. It was on my first research trip here that I found this little rock. And this rock shows us that life lived on land 580 million years earlier than we previously thought. It also shows that hot springs were forming 3 billion years earlier than we previously knew. This is a real shift in the way we think that you can't make life in the oceans. It had to be on land. This piece of Australian research may alter our understanding of the origins of life on Earth and the search for life on Mars. Hello. Welcome to this very special event, co-hosted and presented by UNSW's Big Questions Institute and the Sydney Opera House. I'm very proud to be co-hosting an event that brings inspiring scientists onto the stage of the Concert Hall, a world-famous venue. We're working in developing countries to help people farm fish for food and income security. The aim is zero hunger worldwide. Many people in Papua New Guinea live off $1.50 a day, so it's very difficult for them to purchase food, um, and it's also difficult for them to raise their own animals for a source of protein. So they're malnourished and their children are malnourished, and often they can't afford to send their children to school and that sets up a cycle of poverty that's very difficult to break. Together with the National Fisheries Authority of Papua New Guinea, we're breaking that cycle. We've seen more children at school and there's a whole strata of disaffected youth that are no longer turning to drugs and crime. And we've seen hectares of marijuana fields that have been converted to highly productive fish farms. We train prisoners in fish farming so that they've got a livelihood when they're released from prison, but it also provides them with a source of protein in, in their prison diets. We've even seen a reduction in tribal fighting and also an increase in social stability in all the places we've been working. Seaweeds like crayweed are super important. They actually provide the habitat and food for entire communities. It's not that long ago that we actually were able to quantify that crayweed has disappeared. It has disappeared from the entire Sydney metropolitan area. Just in those 70 kilometres where Sydney is, there's no crayweed at all. So Operation Crayweed is underway, it works, but what we'd like is to actually bring it back to the whole of Sydney. 